it looks like everybody's video is off. We may have some few that join as we get started, but um, you know, we've done a lot of these and I'm always very appreciative of everybody taking time to be here. And especially like Sarah, I think this is the first time you've come and, and uh, really appreciate that. Um, we found these are really helpful. I think not only for our staff, but our customers. And then it's awesome to record them and have these to, to push out by email to those who are not able to come live. Uh, and then post them to our website. And we, um, and as a matter of fact, Brett and I were literally just talking a little bit ago and he was able to encourage a customer to consider getting on and they, she may still join, but even if, if not, we're gonna record it and we'll have something within a couple of days to send and make sure that all the things that, a lot of the things that Alyssa are, uh, is gonna talk about that Gemline has to offer that we can show. And we found this to be a great tool, Alyssa, just because you know we can't always show all the things that really we'd like to show. Um, and we learn a lot by doing it too, even though we're in the business. And so, it, you know, we, we used to get these presentations a lot from um, folks like you and and we would get excited and get back to our desk and, you know, then just have a bunch of work that we end up doing and we didn't do a good job passing it along. So um, first and foremost, Alyssa Fields now, um, married in May. So congratulations there and with uh, Jim Line and just first and foremost, thanks for being here. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Very good. Like, so the first thing we always do is we, we won't spend a lot of time on this, but we, we love for people to get to know you as a person. I mentioned a, a detail just a second ago, but just give us a little bit about, you know, just tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been with Jim Line, you know, how, where you were before, and, and then we'll, we'll uh, get going on the presentation. Yeah, absolutely. So I've been with Gemline for just about three years now. So it just seems like a blink of an eye. Yesterday I joined with them. Um, but before I came into the crazy world of promo, I actually worked in the beverage world. So I worked for companies like Coca-Cola, Red Bull, um, did some contract sales. So not, not too, too exciting. And then I was looking for a change and found the opportunity with Gemline. And I go, what's this whole promo world all about? I'm like, love those on stuff. And so I learned more about it and definitely seemed fun and interesting. And so here I am about three years later. Um, for Genline, I, I do a lot of outside sales too and virtual presentations. So about five states in all I cover for them. So I love to get to interact with customers and your customers as well too. So um, it's kind of in a nutshell how I, how I found Gemline. But I personally live in um, downtown Columbus, Ohio. So I know we were chatting a little bit of, ago about the Buckeyes. Yeah. Buckeyes fans. So Go Bucks. Football, yep, absolutely. Uh, football, basketball, you name it. So of some of that and we're mostly you know, interested in football yeah <laughs> yeah that's all we really have going in uh, in ohio it seems like is the although i gotta say chris holt chris holtman's doing a good job to make basketball a much more of a concern than it has been in the past so yeah absolutely. I, and i think people on the call know i'm originally from springfield ohio so you can take the boy out of ohio but you can't take the ohio out of the boy i guess so um and i'll be at the ohio state penn state game on saturday decked out in red I know some people on this call may not care, but by God, I care a lot. <laughs> so, um, no, that's good. And I, I really am excited about um, Gym Line. We were talking a little bit about it and, and kind of how I would slot Gym Line or how I would kind of at a high level describe the company. And I was telling you that they've always just been, in my mind, like a higher end gift supplier, you know, and, and then you guys have really pushed into, I think, um, you know, you always had nice higher end gifts as well as a lot of other items, but then have really focused on, I think, adding brands like the Corksicle and the Mirror and things that you're going to talk about. And is that, would you agree with that or would you kind of change that a little bit or? Absolutely. So I think we've been around just a little over 60 years. And when we started, it was just tote bags. That's all we did. And then over the years, they branched into different categories. But yeah, recently in about the last two to three years, we've really expanded into brands. Um, I mean, we do have our core backpacks, pad folios, things like that. But we're about 50% retail brands, which you'll get to see a good amount on my presentation today. And then the rest, um, you'll hear a little bit about our in-house design team that actually does design the other about 50% of our products we carry. Got it. So just a reminder, everybody, and, and I know we've talked a lot about supply chain, a lot about inventory issues. It still exists. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because every time I say it to somebody, they kind of just, I know, I know, and, and we know you know. So um, the earlier we can order, the better for Christmas, which I'm sure Alyssa will talk about. Uh, but the other side of that is there is product. And most of our customers, I think, have they understand what's going on and they've been flexible to choose things that are available. Um, so there are, there are items to do. 
And we're excited, again, these presentations are to make sure that you guys, you, you get the opportunity to see a lot of different products from one of our preferred partners quickly. And um, so that you can get those creative juices going. Alyssa is gonna show a lot of different things. We're gonna talk about some case studies on how they're used. Uh, and please, in the chat, uh, which we'll also be paying attention to if, if for some reason I miss it, or just simply unmute, jump in and ask a question. This is for your benefit and for the benefit of those who will watch in the future. So with that, Alyssa, I wanna turn it over to you and we're excited. And, and like I said, we'll probably all mute, but I may jump in and Brett or, or even Alex, any of our team or any of our customers may jump in from time to time with questions. All right, I will go ahead and get started here sharing my presentation. Let me bring it up here. Ready. Really quick, one other thing, Alyssa, I just want to make sure everybody knows we always target to finish at about 1045. So just so everybody knows the, the you know the commitment, I probably should have said that up front. But we we try to be very respectful of your time and stay on time. So just know that we're looking at the clock and staying focused on that. I, I should be done in right about around that time. If you catch me going a little longer, you can <laughs> just let me know, but usually about minutes or so. All righty. So as Brett had shared and Landon, we are definitely in the holiday season. I know it is Halloween this weekend, um, but you got to start thinking about holiday, which is crazy to think come the end of October, but I know he shared the sooner the better, especially if you are liking some of the items on that you see on this presentation. So um, just kind of putting that out there for you. As I shared, our company is very much into the gifting experience and you'll see a lot of gift sets, a lot of gift items. And what we want is for when you to receive this or one of your employees or even one of your customers to receive one of our gifting experiences, we want it to be something that they enjoy, that they're gonna keep. Um, one of our mottos is we do not want things to end up in landfills. So our items are very high quality and things that will be used not only for this holiday season, but definitely for um, many years to come, stay in people's kitchens, people's homes, families can enjoy it. Um, so you'll notice a lot of even grouped gifting type of items that can be taken home for the whole family to enjoy. One other thing I know I touched on our in-house design team. I'm a little jealous of them. Uh, they get to travel, especially in normal times, all around the world. And what they get to see is definitely what the upcoming trends are. So they'll attend fashion week. They'll attend all different um, trade shows and events in different countries to see what are the latest trends, what's emerging um, to be front and center. So for this year, and you'll notice this in some of the products that you see, the three trends that they picked out, um, that first one there, it's called Co-op, but basically that is kind of like an eco-friendly giving back type of trend. Um, so it's definitely becoming more and more important, not only for companies, but individuals want products that do good, that are recycled, that aren't you know, adding to the pollution of the world, um, and that maybe do have some sort of give back element to a charitable cause, which I know I'll touch on near in a little bit, um, which is one of the giveaways, but um, definitely a growing trend that we're seeing more and more of. Curate that middle trend down there. That's basically making your own environment, whether it be your office, your home, wherever you spend most of your day, your own. So that's items that help with that whether it be desk organizers or a relaxation type of kit, something that's gonna make you feel um, very relaxed, able to work and be productive. And then the last trend out there is called Navigate. And that's basically just being outdoors, products that you can take on the go, whether you're camping, hiking on the beach or just spending time with family and friends. I think last year and even to this year, you know, a lot of our normal stuff, we couldn't really do. So kind of being outdoors and some hobbies have emerged from that. So I will kind of switch gears now into the product and I'll kind of show on the side to some of the actual products as well. So you can kind of get a, a, an idea of maybe how big it is compared to, I know on the screen sometimes it's a little hard to see. So kind of that outdoorsy type of trend that I was talking about. Um, we do carry Igloo, which is one of our great retail brand partners. Um, they've came a long way from the days of, I always think of them for their plastic Playmate coolers, which they definitely still have those, but their design has definitely became elevated. So that retractor cinch top backpack, that has the look of maybe something more of like the Yetiest look, but at a much more budget-friendly price point. So it holds 46 cans, very good size capacity, nice backpack style cooler, hard molded bottom. So it has really good structure. 
And then so you got the nice little bottle opener. So again, you could just gift that. We could kit things inside of there too, um, kind of for a really wow factor when whoever would be receiving that opens it up and you get not only a cooler, but maybe also you would pair like a packable hammock in there with the Sabago hammock. This one is one of, I have a few favorite holiday items that you'll see on, on today's presentation. This is one of them because most people are looking for something different and probably haven't gifted a hammock before for the holidays. This is a great item. It can work for anybody from the janitor to the CEO. Um, you know, you can use it. Your family's going to use it. Your kids are going to use it. Um, so it will definitely get use and uh, something that will stay, you know, in the garage, used outdoors on camping trips for many more years to come. So one of my favorites is the packable hammock for that one. Also for outdoor, we recently added Cuisinart. So I was so excited when I heard we were getting the retail brand Cuisinart just because how well known their appliances are. They're sold in big box stores like Bed Bath & Beyond um, and a few other big retail chains like that. So we specifically added their grilling items. So great, obviously, for the tailgate season that we have going on right now, um, but also good for holiday gifts. We have everything from portable gas grills up there at the top, um, which is really nice. We laser imprint on the top there. Uh, so just a nice, very classy, clean look. Um, take them camping on the beach, all different types of places those can go with you. To anything from a burger smash press for those gourmet burgers on the grill, a pizza peel down at the bottom, or even kind of like the salt shaker, pepper shaker set there. But my favorite one from Cuisinart is actually the grill light. So this is something you probably didn't think of, but you need when you're out cooking at nighttime and you're like, I can't see, I need to put my cell phone up. Is the burgers done or do they need to cook? And this will actually wrap around your grill handle. And then you have a nice little light there too. So something very practical, people will definitely use, and it definitely stays around in their home for, for many years. So, so that's awesome. How's that printed? Is that, is that decal that goes on there? Is that pad printed? Actually, or? yep, it's pad printed right up at the top there. So we can do a couple colors and just pad printed right on top there. I was saying this was, this reminds me of the beanie that had the LED hat that Brett, you gave me because you guys got it in a box of diapers. And that's what I used. Clearly, I didn't know this item existed because I was out cooking on my grill with a beanie with an LED light on it, like I was like a coal miner or something. So I definitely need one of these. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's the item that you didn't know you needed until you see it. <laughs> and again, with our Cuisinart items, these are great gifts on their own. You can pair them together or you could obviously kit things together, um, a grill and maybe one of the blankets I'll show you later. So definitely a ton of um, options with those. So for the office trend, kind of switching gears again here too. So um, for Genline, we do carry our own type of tech items or we will carry retail brand partners like Anchor. Anchor is a really nice tech item brand because it is kind of that middle of the road price point, but they have really nice um, technology inside. It has quick IQ uh, charging capabilities. So that dual charger that you see on the right hand screen it's so nice. I know I personally have two phones, one work, one personal, but say you have, you know, earbuds or something that needs to be charged before your next Zoom meeting or next meeting, you can throw those on the charger about 10, 15 minutes. It will give you like a good 30 to 40% charge to make sure you get through to your next meeting in a snap. So I keep that up on my desk at all times. I can throw my phones on there just for a few minutes and I know they're going to be charged um, through the rest of the day. Also for the middle one there, the Truman wireless charger, this one's another fun one. Uh, this is obviously a desk organizer, but it is magnetic. So these will actually come apart. You can mix and match how you would like to have them on your desk. And then you do have the wireless charger right in the middle there. This will come with a gift box, kind of for a little bit more elevated gift, gifting type of look. And we can actually laser engrave on this panel. So if you are gifting to say your executive team or you're wanting to do like an award, you can put the logo over here and then personalize with your person's name as well too right there. That one's always a fun one. Then the Easter- I know that uh, really quick on the, you say anchor and it's, I, I've yep. been pronouncing it anchor for some reason, but I know Ross has a, uh, you have a wireless phone charger on your desk that you love from anchor, is that right? Yes, sir. Stands my phone up and charges it while it does it. Yeah, it's a good item. We've been actually, I think, looking at doing some of those to sell promos. So that's a good, that's a good item, good brand. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. And they have everything from the stand up vertical ones to the dual charging ones. So it is anchors kind of, um, it's very well known and a lot of um, tech companies actually, that's what they give their employees to charge their um, devices to. So very well known in the tech world. But a few others too, the Easton chargers up top there, those are our own brand. Um, but basically it's a very hard mouse pad. So I know most mouse pads you think are kind of like flimsy. That is very hard, very sturdy. Again, we can laser engrave on that. So it makes a very nice um, look and touch to it. Then you got your wireless charger and your mouse pad for those. Also for the office, these two are a little different. Um, these are kind of play into that health and wellness, um, helping employees relax and unwind either when they're at home or in the office. The first one on there, the sound machine, that is basically what it sounds like. It has about 24 different sounds, everything from the ocean, the rainforest, oh, lightning, thunder, all that good stuff. But one fun thing with that, it actually has a headphone jack right in the front. So if you do have it in your office and you have coworkers next door to you, you can plug your headphones in and you don't have to worry about having them here, you know, the rainforest or whatever you're listening to. So that one's a fun one. And then also the Happy Day Dust Lamp, I have it here as well too. This one's very nice. It's not only great for if you are on the go and you do need to do some Zoom meetings or anything like that, portable, um, we'll throw into a backpack, a suitcase very easily. But um, especially I know in Ohio and even in the Kentucky, I think you guys get kind of gloomy weather towards the uh, winter season. So this actually has a light that is bright enough um, to boost your mood. So it's over a certain wattage that helps improve your mood um, just so that when you are stuck inside all day, it's gloomy, it's snowing, it's raining, whatever it's doing in the Midwest, um, you can still have a little bit of uh, bright sunshine to boost your, boost your day there. So that's another fun one for the office environment. And these two, um, not only great gifting items for backpacks or totes, but 2022 will be here before we know it. And if you are doing any type of hiring, um, new employee kits, these are great options. These basically take all the guesswork out for you. Um, each kit comes with what you see there. So it would come with a backpack or a tote, a full laptop sleeve, and then you either get two pouches with the backpack or one with the tote. And these are nice, like I said, it takes the guesswork out, but we could also kid if say if you did want a power bank or a water bottle or a moleskin notebook in there, kind of for that full first day of work experience, um, we could definitely kit that in there for you. So something to keep in mind, not only good for holiday gifting, but also as we approach um, the new year and maybe some new higher type of gifting. Just real quick, for anybody that's wondering, if you're looking at the pricing or, or the item code and all that, where it says MOQ is, uh, is eight, that means minimum order quantity. So if you're ever looking at that and wondering what in the world that means, that's what that means. So that would be the minimum order quantity you need to purchase in order to get that particular kit branded with, with your logo. And sometimes, Alyssa, there's the ability to do even fewer for like a less than minimum charge or something like that. So I appreciate you pointing that out, Brett, but I know that on some, right, isn't that the case? Absolutely. Yeah, we definitely can. If you need less than that, there's definitely ways to work with that too. Great. So for Moleskin, um, Moleskin is a really well-known journal brand. It is actually our number one bestseller. So pen and paper definitely is still very popular as much as people maybe say, ah, I just use my phone to write everything down or I don't need, you know, who needs a notepad anymore? Who needs a journal? Um, Moleskin still continues to do really well for us. They're very known for their high quality um, and people want to keep their moleskins. Um, even just their plain journals, people will write in them, their, their keepsakes, they'll put them up in their office. They don't want to throw, throw them away when they're done. This is a fun collection that they do have. It's called their passion journal season or passion journal <laughs> collection. Um, and so basically what these are is we have about five or six different um, different themes that they have, but everything from film, movies, recipes for the kitchen, uh, and then health and wellness, travel, they have too, but basically on the inside, it's broken down for, say this is the movie version, oh, you'll be able to see that, but you write down the movie, did you like it, who did you watch it with, you know, different types of things for the movie buffs, but the same thing goes for the health and wellness or the travel collection. These gifts are great on their own, or we can definitely um, pair them with something else. Like I'll show you a fun movie night kit a little later. So this would be really nice to pair with a popcorn movie night kit. So 
definitely can kit um, those as well, but um, great on their own or like I said, good add-ons. And those those journals would just get a, just a one color imprint or a debossed imprint looks like, correct? Right? right on the front? Yeah, and we can do more than one color, but yeah, absolutely. So we either print or we can deboss on them. Okay, is that where it says plated? Can you do like a, a silver foil? Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. yep, so, okay. yep, we can. Um, we have gold or silver that we can foil imprint on those if you'd like to have it kind of filled in to make the deboss really stand out. Up next, um, Modern Sprouts. So Modern Sprouts, again, another retail brand. Um, as I shared, we, we are very heavy into the retail brands, but they are all about plants. So a um, husband and wife, they own the company. And Sarah, the wife, they lived in downtown Chicago and she loved the garden. Whoops, I don't know what happened there. Let's try this again. Um, she loved the garden. And so basically she started her own little indoor gardening and people loved it, caught on. So she created her own company called Modern Sprouts. So basically what comes with any one of these is everything you need to start the plant. And it's kind of foolproof. So you notice that vase there, it comes with the dirt, the seeds, um, carbon activator, plant food, everything you need, you just set it up, takes about five minutes and it will start to grow. I was a little skeptical at first. I cannot grow anything to save my life. I'm like, yeah, right, okay. And it took off, took me about a week to start to sprout and it was going strong. So it really does, very easy to use. Um, we have seen people gift these for desk items, welcome back to work. Um, even gifting at the holiday times with a little note card that says, hey, thank you so much for helping our company grow. All different kinds of fun things that you can do with that. The seed ornaments are new for us this year. Um, basically that will pop right open and there's a little packet of seeds in there. You just plant it into a little bit of dirt and it will uh, start to take off and grow. I know we just ran an order of those. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a property in uh, Maine that is kind of a, yeah, it's a it's a really kind of earthy in, uh, resort up there that's very cool called Hidden Pond. They're a client of ours, and we did the middle of that that uh, pink, and they printed their logo on the back, and they're really excited about them. Yeah, those are those are definitely something different and something unique. Probably people haven't gotten before. So I was I was excited when we got those. And then the very bottom one is kind of a full kit, so it will come with more. We have a few different um, different themes, so. We have a pink, a red, and a yellow. Each one represents a different plant, but basically you get the nice retail packaging. And then for this one, for instance, you get essential oils, like a little hourglass to help you relax. And then of course the planner and pot there too. So really nice packaging for that one. Um, but Modern Sprouts is just one of those fun, fun different items um, that you probably haven't thought about. And it, it's a really nice way, again, nice desk item. Um, something that people will put up in their kitchen. Their kids can help set up the plant item. Again, nice little family-oriented type of gift there. And the next one here, I won't go through all of these, um, but one of the trends I know I shared at the beginning called co-op is that giving back type of trend. And especially at the holidays, I feel like people do want to give back and maybe they don't know exactly how to or how can they mix promo into giving back. Um, the six retail brands that you see here do have some sort of give back component to them. So not only are you getting a really nice retail branded item with your logo on it, but you're also um, helping somebody else in need, especially all year round or during the holiday time. I know I just shared Modern Sprouts there. They also have a tree kit. And for every tree kit that's purchased, they will donate a tree to help forest rejuvenation. I think it's specifically in California. I, I know it's just how hard they get hit with the wildfires out there. It's definitely needed. Um, we also have a company called Soapbox. They will donate one bar of soap for every Soapbox product purchased. And what's really neat about that is they have what they call a hope code on the back of all their items. And that will let you track and see where that soap actually went to. And then um, Corksicle, which I'll get to in a little bit later, but they do donate to water, a nice water, clean water foundation. And then Mir, which I'll show at the end, I know that we do have a um, giveaway item as well too with Mir, but Mir has what they call um, a giving code on the bottom of every one of their drinkware pieces. So when you receive your bottle, you can go to their website and register the giving code that you see there. And it basically shows where they donate money you get to track the project from the start to the finish. Um, they'll interview people 
that were in the community where the project went on. For instance, if they were doing a water well overseas, they'll interview the community members just to say, you know, what, what impact did that have on our life? So really nice way to, um, again, a great quality product, but also um, get to give back as well. So Premier, um, they are sold in places like REI, Outdoor Retailers, Patagonia. It's a very outdoorsy brand. And maybe you've done like Yeti in the past or something like that. Think of that quality, but um, with a give back component to it, great quality. And then also one thing that they just added that I love, any flat tops here, they have the clicking lids now, which is great. And also on their smaller boxed items, they will come with a gift box as well too. Get a nice little gift packaging with some of their smaller camp style mugs too. Comes in black, white, and then we've just added a few new fun colors. You notice that light blue color that they call home, and then the gray color there um, called basil. The camp mug and the 20 ounce wide mouth are their two best selling um, styles that they have, but they have all different ranges, uh, from very large styles to um, also everything. This one's actually a little baby eight ounce style cup. So all different sizes, all different styles with them. No, I really like the mirror brand. I, I remember, I think the first time I encountered it actually it was like, I think a coffee shop here in town was selling some of the, some of the uh, mugs there, the camp cups with a logo on it. And then I had a customer ask me about it. I know we've sold more of them lately. And so it's, I do think it's, um, and I would say, I think the quality is on par with some of those other retail brands that you mentioned. I do want to take a second. I'm curious. I know we've been kind of going through the presentation. Anybody here, I, you know, it kind of sometimes it's awkward to just stop and ask a question. So is there anybody that has any questions? We don't really have anything in the chat or anything, but is there anything we can address? Anything that's come up? If not, I'll just turn it back over to Alyssa and let her keep, keep rolling. All right. Yeah, with Mir, um, you know, they're becoming more popular in the Midwest. They are a Seattle brand, so it's kind of making its way over to us in the Midwest. But um, definitely, I know Starbucks had them in there for a while too, so they become more of a household name. And one thing that we do like to do, especially during the holiday times, we do offer it all year round, but uh, food tends to go more, more during the holidays, is we will pair a mere, uh, a mere camp mug or a mere tumbler with gourmet food. Um, I'll get into a little bit a little bit later, but the idea of this is once all that good food's gone, say you've made the s'mores with your kids at home, once that's all gone, you still have a mere camp mug to remember the gift by. So you know, sometimes those towers of food are really pretty and then, but once it's all gone, you throw away the packaging and then there's nothing left. So at least with this, you still have a tumbler or a little tote bag or something um, once you enjoyed all the good food. So another kidding option, especially during the holidays we do offer. And for Corksicle, again, another retail brand, um, I would say Corksicle is a little bit more fashion forward, but again, a, just a really nice, very well insulated um, type of drinkware brand as well. Um, they do have all different types of styles, tumblers as well too, but here I'll focus on a few new versions that we just added. So for the pint glass set, we do pint glasses, um, rocks glasses, wine, tumblers as well. And it is packaged in very nice, it's almost that silky, very thick packaging. It has the magnetic closures. So that is a very wow presentation type of gift if someone is receiving that. Um, and then with the glass that is double walled. So we actually, because it is double wall, we will pad print on it only um, laser. It does not do well with laser on it, but we do have an ink color that will make it look almost laser engraved if you're wanting that kind of look for it. Which is called satin etch, right? Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. Then the next one, this one's a fun really one. Really quick, just to make sure that people understand it, because that was something yeah. I needed to learn is Satin Edge is, it's a screen print color, mm -hmm. but it has a frosted look. So you get, it's a still a surface print, but it looks like an etch. Yeah, it looks a lot almost cheaper. identical. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It looks almost identical. You almost have to run your finger over it to tell, oh wait, this isn't lasered engraved. It's pad printed. So it does look very, very similar to what a laser would do on glassware or even tumblers or anything like that to offer. The next one, this one's kind of a fun one from Corksicle. This is their Arctic can. Um, so obviously it will keep a beer can, pop can nice and cold, but it does come with what they call a stash can. So inside you can put your keys, your money, anything you don't want to lose when you're out golfing, if you're at the pool or wherever you might be. So this, make sure you don't lose your belongings. And then the bottom of this will actually come off 
and you will put this in the freezer ahead of time. It's almost like a mini ice pack for your um, drink and it keeps it really nice and cold. You just put it right back on, put your pop can in and you're good to go. So it keeps it cold for about three hours, um, but just something a little different, a spin on, you know, it's not your same traditional koozie. It's got a little bit elevated look and feel to it. We will do the beer can, or we also have um, the slender, like the white claw versions as well. And those, since we added them in the spring, um, have been extremely popular summertime, but we're even seeing them come in for the holidays too. So something a little different uh, and a nice, nice spin on the traditional koozie that you might have. Then just like the mirror items, we also pair a lot of our corksicle items. You'll notice some more of their traditional tumblers coffee mugs down at the bottom. Um, we will pair those again with that gourmet food, kind of that whole gifting type of experience. So once that food's gone, you still have a nice little tumbler or even something like the whiskey business set. Um, you got a nice little quirksicle whiskey wedge in there to have as a leap behind. What's that in that whiskey that whiskey set right there? What is the, because um, it's kind of fuzzy, the image the little bottle, like what does it come with? Yeah, so that comes with some old fashioned syrup as well. So kind of you can make your own cocktails right there in the whiskey wedge, just add alcohol if you want, or you can make a mocktail. Um, but that is from um, a company called w &P, which I'll show you a little bit later too. They offer syrups and then we partner, um, we'll put some extra snacks in there too, kind of for a full kind of happy hour type of kit. Here, I'll, I'll take a chance to plug one of our other customers, a company called Spiritless. Spiritless is actually, alcohol-free bourbon. So if, uh, if anybody's interested, I'll put, a, I'll put a link out there. So that's that's a free plug for our customer. Nice. You know, that whole, that whole world of alcohol-free kind of is blowing up it's right blowing now. Up. Yeah, there's a lot of them. And it, and, and it started with bourbon. Alcohol, the idea of alcohol-free bourbon down here where we're from is a little, little bit of a head scratcher, but like they're, they're definitely pushing into other spirits too. Yeah, it's growing quickly. One last one from Corksicle. Uh, this one's definitely if you are looking for that executive type of gift or, you know, maybe just a few gifting that you need to give some of your better customers. Um, their ice buckets along with their stemless flutes, we can do either one on their own or we can, of course, kit them together kind of for like the full experience there. But again, a little bit more elevated, that executive look and feel for them for the gifting with the corksicle bucket and their uh, stemless flute there. And that color, it's a really pretty gray color. They actually call it gunmetal gray. So, you know, the stainless steel um, has kind of had it today. And this is the more, more traditional gunmetal gray that's kind of taken its place. So Slow Tide um, blankets winner, I don't think would be complete without some blankets. So Slow Tide is a brand new retail brand we just added. They do blankets and towels. So for the holiday, I will focus just on blankets that they offer. They are another West Coast brand um, and they're all about sustainability, eco-friendly, giving back. They kind of check all the boxes. Um, as you see here, I won't go over all this, but um, very important for them to donate, give back. And then of course they, like our other motto, they do not want their products ending up in landfills. They want to help um, recycle and, and do the right thing as much as possible. And some of their blankets, um, these are called the camp blankets, which are really nice. They basically have a backing underneath um, that will prevent the moisture from coming up. So whether you know you're out camping on the beach, wherever you might be, you don't have to worry about you know the blanket getting you know gross if it sits out, if it just rained or anything like that. So fun patterns and art, which you'll notice, especially on the next page that they're known for. So they have very pretty designs. They're sold in places, again, like Nordstrom's, um, Patagonia, Bloomingdale's, places like that. Um, but again, known for their art and just overall quality as well. Is that on that blanket right there, yeah. Alyssa, that's a, is that a transfer that I see? So yes, yes. So we can transfer on these and then the other ones we will embroider on. Mm -hmm. These, these versions, um, the fleece blanket, which I actually have behind me right now. So it's nice, cozy. They do have some more traditional, like the buff, buffalo plaid, but also very artsy ones that you see there as well. Um, but a lot of times fleece, you don't know, especially when you hear the word recycled, you might think it's kind of thin and flimsy. This is definitely not. This is very thick, very plush fleece. Um, so great quality, but again, you're, you're doing good for the environment. And then you also have the nice throw blanket there as well too. So 
Let me let me clarify. I don't mean to go back to this, but I want to clarify on the transfer. Do you guys, when you do a transfer, is it is it one color standard, and then you pay if you need to do more colors, or is it if we do a transfer, is it full color standard? Yep, it is full color. So as many colors, as many gradients as you need, it will be all the same flat rate. Got it. You can do as little as one, or you can do. So the way that I know the way that Gemline kind of has the product. I've been putting some links out there. If somebody goes out and you pull up, you'll kind of if you scroll down on any item that you're interested in, you'll see a tab that says decoration options and pricing. And I think that, and you can correct me on this, Alyssa. The way this works is, you know, you'll have. A, a primary decoration method, or in some cases, the only decoration method. And so, um, like I'm looking at the slow tide fleece blanket right now, I go under decoration options and pricing, it shows embroidery because that's the only option. Um, and then like, but on the other one, it, it appeared that the transfer and the embroidery was an, was an option. So. Yes, correct. And I can, I know I'm going to pull up the website at the very end, so I can okay. read for that as well too. But yeah, anything on our website, it will give all the list of the decorations. And then um, if there is only just one, I know on a few of our items, we can only do one, it will just say that that's, that's all we can do. So it, it definitely is really good about that. And then you'll see too, kind of the decoration areas that like, it will lay that out. So I'll make sure to. So is the leather patch shown on this image? That's not a custom leather patch. That's like the slow time to go on, the, on that. Yeah, so that is just, yeah, let's see if I find it on here. That is just how Osprey does their logo. So that will come standard. Um, that's where they put their logo on all their blankets. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, yeah, there we go. I got it here. So, yep, that will just come standard. And for the last category that I will show you um, is our gourmet expressions. I know I kind of showed a few with the mirror and the corksicle. Um, but Gourmet Expressions, as I shared, it's all about gifting and pairing um, boutique food. A lot of the companies that we partner with are women-owned, minority-based businesses, and they really are mom and pop, you know, kind of shops there. They have fun and unique stories, um, which you can find on our website of how they got started, how did they start their company, you know, what, what's in their secret recipe to some extent. Um, but for instance, down at the bottom, Urban Accents, two guys happened to lose their job back in the early 2000s when the recession happened. And they're like, okay, well, what do we do? And they created a seasoning company and it just blew up. They're in a lot of boutique um, shops as well, but uh, just a fun story. 88 Acres, a mom wanted to create a snack bar that was good for her kids. So she created just seed bars. And again, that, that kind of took off. And then everything else from Long Grove, which is a Midwest um, nut company, they hand roast in small batches. Um, again, family-owned companies. So definitely can see the, the trend there. Um, these items for the most part, like I said, if you go to your local grocery store, you probably won't find. You might find maybe one or two, but for the most part, um, gourmet, boutique. And it just adds to the gifting experience. So on the first one here, this is, I know I shared my hammock was one of my favorite items. The popcorn popper is by far my most favorite holiday gifting item we have. Um, so this is from a retail brand called W&P. So they're known um, in the very kitchen gifty. I know some cocktail mixes that I showed earlier, um, but they're known for kind of that true gifting experience. So this is the popcorn popper. It comes nice and flat. And basically what you do to air pop your popcorn in the microwave, you just turn it into a bowl. You put the lid on, a couple minutes in the microwave with your corn kernels in the bottom, you get nice air pop popcorn. And then when you're all done, you just wash it up. It can go top rack of the dishwasher and then you just collapse it down and you're good to go. So walk me through that. I know we're, we're close on time, yeah. but you, do you dump out like the little pack that you normally put in? Do you dump that into that thing or what do you do? Nope. So it is like, you know, the jar of corn kernels. Oh, I got you. Here, yep. Even like you see on that urban accents, it is just like the corn kernels that you would just get loose. You just scoop like a little pour the cup in there. You don't need oil or butter, but you can if you want. And then you put it in the microwave for just a couple minutes and nice air pop popcorn. So definitely a different gift. Most people like popcorn. And like I said, we'll do the bowl by itself or we will kit it with a tote bag and seasonings kind of for that true movie night gift experience. Same idea. That one has been so popular. We've had it for about a year, the big version that we came out with a smaller, more personal size one. So same idea. You just throw the corn kernels right in there, close it a couple minutes in the microwave, got nice air pop popcorn. That's fun, Brett. We should pop some popcorn and watch a movie on Zoom or something. 
And I was just thinking like, this is one of those really unique products that you would see on the screen and have absolutely no clue what in the world this is until somebody, we get on a partner series and then she kind and of- And you may not it. show, and we may not show yeah. it just because it's hard sometimes to fit it in if you can't really contextualize it. Yeah, so I, yeah, I really like- a really item. unique, really cool item um, that I had no clue that it had all that water sample. <laughs> That, and that's probably why it's my favorite gift because that's the thing. Everybody wants something new, different, and unique that they haven't done before. So popcorn, family friendly. If somebody's gonna use it in your, you know, in your household, um, especially if you have kids, it will get used and kept in your kitchen. Then for craft cocktails, so um, it says it's five o'clock somewhere. Um, so from WNP, just like their mixing syrup that you had seen on the other page, these are their craft cocktails. We have about seven or eight different flavors, and what comes in with it is everything. I'm getting a glare, so you're not going to be able to see that, but there is a little picture there um, that shows it comes with the syrup, a little spoon, a little shot glass, everything you need to make the cocktail um, minus the alcohol. So you can either make a mocktail or you can add your own alcohol. Those are great if you say are doing a virtual holiday party, a virtual happy hour, or even an in-person party as a, a nice like parting gift um, that they can take home with them. Same thing for the Lush over there. That is a woman-based business out of Colorado. Um, basically, it is a powder that comes in that black little uh, cylinder that you see there, and you add a bottle of wine to it. You can either turn it into a uh, slushy, a simple syrup, and there's some other fun things that you can do with that. Since we can't decorate on the Lush um, container itself, we will pair it with, say, like a corksicle wine tumbler to put your logo on or a few other kit options we have with some snack mix in it. And the next few, I know we're kind of on time here, but the next few are kind of similar, so I'll go through those pretty quickly. Um, but we do have pizza night. I'll show you taco night and burger night kits. These again are great for the whole family to enjoy and use basically what comes with them. They're from Urban Accents. Again, it comes with the seasoning and sauce to make the pizza. You would just make the dough then and kind of set up, you know, make your own pizza how you like. Um, we will put the seasonings inside either a tote or we can kit it with the Cuisinart pizza peel. Again, something to make sure that they have as a leave behind once they are done using the pizza kits. And these we've seen team events as well too, especially with the Taco Tuesdays. Um, they came in, had a team building event where everybody, they, I think they even hired a chef and the chef walked them through how to make gourmet tacos. And so everybody got to enjoy it. Everybody got to enjoy their kits there in just a fun team building activity. Uh, so again, you can have it just with the tote or we can um, pair it there with a little apron. So I'm getting a nice little leave behind. And one last one, burger night. Same concept as before, um, but one will come with a barbecue spatula as well from Cuisinart. And the very last food one I have, um, everybody loves chocolate, especially during the holiday time. Um, so we do have some Taza chocolate there. It's organic um, stone ground chocolate. So just delicious, a ton of different flavors. Or we do have some hot cocoa bombs. I know those were very popular last year, again this year as well. And since we, um, the packaging is very decorated already, we will put it into a little drawstring gift bag where that's where your logo would go on it. So really quick, in that case, we print the bag only. We're not printing the, the package. Correct. Yep. <laughs> if, if there was a client that wanted to pair like one of those mirror mugs with hot chocolate, um, how would that go down? Would they basically like put the mug inside the bag or would you kind of put, yeah. how would that yeah, work? So what we do, um, we can do it a couple different ways. So the hot cocoa bomb, that bag probably wouldn't be big enough to fit the mirror mug. So we do have craft um, gift boxes that would fit. We could just put the um, hot cocoa bomb packet pouch thing on one side and then put the mirror mug right beside it. So then when they open the gift box, they got, got to see both there in a more presentation type of form. But yeah, we can definitely, we can kit anything that you see together. Um, I will note, if you do notice our food kits, those are kind of as is, but we can definitely add other things like, like Brett was saying, we can add a mug or something else to it. Um, we just can't really change the food kit options that you see. And then that a la carding or kitting or what have you would just, I'm sure, incur some sort of like extra fee or run charge or what have you to put that together, right? So actually, if it is our items, as long as it's all Gemline items, there is no extra charge to do that. Oh, wow. Okay, very cool. So the only additional charge would be if there's some sort of special box or something required or, yes. or no, you guys will 
Okay, gotcha. Yep. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you did like that craft color gift box I was talking about, if you did want to add one of those to pair some stuff, that would be the only additional charge that you would have. Gravy. Let me stop sharing this and I will, oops, actually we are at time. I don't know if you want me to go to um, the website at all or. Yeah, go ahead and show the bottle. We'll, I'll go ahead while you're doing that. You know, you get that ready and it will show everybody. I know we're over time and I, I said at the beginning, I want to be respectful of that. So we'll go ahead and wrap up really quickly. But this is the bottle that um, that we're doing for you guys and, and down kind of where you see the Epic logo in this image, it's just got a small G. So very subtle branding uh, from us. And like I said, our staff has loved this item. So we've taken note of who's joined us live and we appreciate you doing that. And um, Alyssa, you can go ahead and take that off. And then, but yeah, so really quick, just, I know we're over time, but does anyone have any questions or any comments that they wanna, they wanna offer up? And Brett and Alex, anybody? Uh, hey, Aubrey, man, it's been a while. I would, I'd just say that, you know, one of the reasons why I love Gemline, I mean, obviously all the brands that you guys have are really fun, unique, exciting. Um, but I took a couple notes as you were kind of going through as far as why I love it. And I think a lot of the styles and options and, and products and brands that you align with are just, I just, I wrote down very clean, attractive quality. And they almost have this sort of like minimalistic styling to them to where the quality of the item isn't overtaken by all of this like noise with the packaging and the decorate and just the logo and the branding and all of it to where you can really gift a really nice item in a simple way that doesn't overpower it to where it's a really good opening gifting experience for whoever the end user may be very um, clean and classy yeah. yeah very clean and classy just across with what you, with the brands that you're aligning with and the give back components and, and all that kind of stuff so that's the reason why i love gym line was really excited to kind of bring you guys on to showcase that to the clients um and yeah that's really the only thing yeah that I the, the other thing I would say is it just, again, reinforces the importance of doing these things because there's items that have come up here that I think, to Brett's point a few minutes ago, we may not have shown or that, frankly, I didn't even really know about, you know, and so we're in the business and we don't always know about, you know, everything. So these, this is super beneficial. Um, but hey, I want to uh, just one last call. Does anybody have anything they want to unmute and ask? I'll give a couple of seconds here. And if that's not the case, I want to thank Alyssa for your time. Um, thank everybody who's, who's come for yours. And uh, next month, we, we weren't going to have a November partner series, but we did go ahead and we are going to do one after all. I believe it'll be on the, the 18th, 17th or 18th, and it's going to be Storm Creek. I think this will be maybe one or one of the first times we've had uh, someone back for a second time, but they've got some new fall and winter clothing options that we think people would really like to see. But, um, but getting back to Gemline, um, really love Gemline. Alyssa, thanks for your time. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. This was great. And uh, all right, everybody, I hope you have a great day and uh, please reach out to us if you want any samples or pricing on anything that you've seen here. Brett, you got something? Uh, no, all good. Just, you know, we kind of moved through stuff really quickly today. If you've just kind of got, this is really fast and didn't have a chance to take notes, this will be posted on our website in usually what, like two weeks somewhere in there? Within a, within a week or so, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so feel free. And then we've also got all of our other partner series posted on our website. If you go to goodsandsupplyco.com, click on partner series, you can kind of look at some of the other ones that we've done as well. If you like this one, we've got plenty of other stuff. Yep. Too. And everybody have a great and safe ha Halloween. I'm, I'm dressing up as Grumpy Bear, which people who are on my staff might appreciate, <laughs> understand, <laughs> or whatever. But uh, I don't do costumes. I never have, but I'm actually doing one on Friday night. For, so Hopefully everybody's going to have a good time this weekend. Be safe and uh, we'll see you next month.